Hey guys, it's Jason with the CryptoMine channel. Just want to do a quick video showing you how to get auto fan on the AC Infinity inline fan because I'm in Florida and the temperature fluctuation has been a little crazy. I can imagine it's the same in other places, but I mean, yesterday we we're in the 60s, today we're in the high 70s, and it's a pain to come out here and manually change this up and down because I got to keep this below 110 degrees on this temperature gauge here in order to keep it running at least 50 degrees Celsius or below according to the charts. Now if you're new to ASICs just like I am and this is your first time getting one, they're gonna send it with these fans installed, these Delta fans. I'm sure you've seen videos and I'm sure you've heard how it sounds. If you got a family, you're going to push that wife approval limit past its breaking point and you're going to hear about it real quick because that high pitch whine can be heard through your entire house depending on how big your house is. Uh, mine's not the biggest house, I don't have the most space so it was the loudest thing. So we swapped over to this AC Infinity fan which made a huge difference and in fact starting with those loud whiny fans actually got this one to be a much higher approval rating because it sounds so much better in comparison so it's a little tactic you could use there by running it with those high pitch fans for the first week. But anyway, let me show you how this is done because you've got the manual here that will explain everything. So what I did was actually track the temperatures at the thermometer, which is the outlet, as well as the temperature two, which is the rear of the boards. So I talked to support with Ice River and they said to keep it below 50 degrees. Even though I've had it up 51, 52, 53 and it hasn't really caused an issue or lowered the hash rate, so I went ahead and tracked it. So if I'm at 113 degrees on that temperature reading, it's 52 at that temp two point. 112, 51, 111, 51. So 110 is where I don't wanna be above. So that's gonna be my max. But when the speed is lower, that air is not moving as fast, it'll actually read 108 at 50 degrees. So keep that in mind when you're adjusting your settings. And of course your mileage is gonna vary based on temperature, the way things are set up, etc. So you have to play with it. And one last thing, this was not the base model. This was the next step up with this fancy controller here, which has the ability to connect to your phone via Wi-Fi. Honestly, the reason I went for it was because they didn't have the lower one available, and that's what other YouTubers were recommending. I am so glad that I ended up buying this one because that lower option is only a manual adjustment. You're gonna have to come out here all the time and constantly messing with this to keep it at the temperature that you want, unless you can somehow keep your garage or the ambient air consistent wherever this is located. I don't have that luxury. So the nice thing about this is that it's gonna have that option for the auto fan that can go up and down. And that way, it's a little bit more hands off. I don't have to babysit this thing as much because especially come summertime here in Florida, it's gonna get really bad. It's probably just gonna run at uh, full speed all the time. And I also went for the filter. A lot of guys are doing the silencer. This silences it too. Uh, it does create some air resistance, so you typically have to run the fan one or two levels higher. However, I mean, look at this. This is in about a week. So way better off having some kind of a filter because otherwise all that dust is just gonna end up on the inside of your ASIC. And you spent way too much money on this thing to have it getting all dusty and nasty. And one important step you wanna take is putting this thing to sleep while you adjust these fan settings. Because it's highly likely this fan's gonna turn off or shut down and it won't spin back up fast enough and your ASIC will start to increase in temperature so fast that you don't wanna take any unnecessary risks. Once it's asleep, you can just see that temperature dropping. and enjoy that silence while it lasts because it's not gonna be for long. All right, so with the console set to the off mode, you're gonna set the temperature that you want as the lowest temperature. I'm gonna keep mine at five because in the week, week and a half I've had this thing, I don't think I've had it below five once and that's with our coldest nights in the 50s. Now you're gonna go to on and then you're gonna set that. And I'm gonna set that to 10 because that's gonna be my max. All right, and then you're gonna go to high temp. And now, for the temperature. All right, now I set the temperature for 110 because that's where I find it lines up with that 50 degrees on the temp two. So this displays our fan speed. 
Let's go turn the miner back on, get it hashing again, and see what happens. All right, we're back to hashing, and the temperature's starting to increase. Alright, the temperature automatically kicked right up to 10, so we'll see if it starts to back off after it gets a cool down. So it looks like it's going to require some tweaking here, because it just wants to jump between those two speeds. Alright, so after playing with it for a little bit, I determined that you're only setting two speeds, a high and a low. So when the trigger sets, it's going to automatically jump up to that high temperature. When it falls below that temperature threshold, it's going to automatically fall down to your low. So I just set more reasonable levels to use. So we'll stick with 9 because I haven't had to run it at 10 yet. And then as soon as it hits the 109 degree level, which it may not, it's just going to fall down to 7. So those will be two realistic numbers we should be able to keep it between with no issue. Uh, because we're in Florida and again, it's mid 70s right now, it'll be high 70s, possibly 80 later today. But then a thunderstorm's gonna come through and tonight's supposed to be down in the 50s. So go figure. So at least this way, I'm not having to babysit it as much, but it sure beats that annoying whine that you're listening to constantly that you can hear over everything. All right. Any comments sure would help if you guys got any tips or advice on this. It'd be nice to find a way that you could just step up the fan speeds. But hey, the way these things earn money, I'll take what I can get. But I hope this helps in your ASIC mining endeavors, and happy mining.